Hello and welcome to Our Children Australia. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Laurie and I want to talk to you today about um, the impacts of dropping to a sin single income and the realisation of what that will actually mean for your family. Some of you may find that you've gone from um, having two incomes to support your family to going through this separation and divorce process to having to rely solely on your own income and some of you may not be eligible for any Centrelink assistance so there is no extra support for you and that can be really hard it can be a hard uh, reality for you to face it's important though that to some extent you take stock of where you are you sit back you look at what you've got coming in, what you need going out, and we spoke a few weeks ago about budgets and how that can help you get out of debt and get back on your feet. But one thing I found um, really important when um, I dropped down to a single income with my family was the power of gratitude, being grateful for actually what we had you know, it, it might sound a little bit airy fairy and you know woohoo, but it's really important that you learn to appreciate what you've actually got. And for most of us, that will mean that we have, you know, food in our cupboards to feed our family. We've got a roof over our head. We've got clothes that we can put on our children's back. Um, and really that's the important things that's really what is important in life that we can feed and we can care for our children and yes it is disappointing and it can be gut-wrenching when you can't give your children that latest gadget that excursion that trip to the theme park you can't afford to put them in those that extracurricular activity that they really really want to do But when it comes down to it, we really do have all that we essentially need. If you listen to any of um, what I like to call the high flyers, like your Richard Bransons of the world, happiness doesn't come from success, but success comes from happiness. And I think that can be applied here with our finances just as much as in terms if you want to look at it in terms of business success or career success, if you look at your finances, if you start to be grateful for what you have, then your financial position is only going to benefit from that in the long run. I have found that to be the case in my life. If I can be grateful for what I have, more seems to come to me. And I think this then flows on to what we were speaking about last week, and that is... Don't let your attitude get you down. Don't let that have an impact on your finances. Remember, be grateful, be positive, and positive things will flow from that. And like we've spoken about before, if you can work, if you can learn to live within your means, and then again, this word grateful continues to come up, be grateful for what you have and grateful for what you can provide you will find that by dropping to that single income, yes, it may, it will be a hard reality to start with and no one is disputing that. I'm certainly not. I've been there, done that, and it can be tough. Um, but if we can be grateful, if we can learn to live within our, remain, within our means and if we can remain positive, then things will get better. Um, you know, there are some great t tips and tools out there, you know, in terms of meal planners, in terms of free family activities that you can do with your kids, taking them to the park. Um, there are some great activities for the older kids on during the school holidays that you can send them to that cost very little, if anything at all, depending on where you live. Um, and there are great websites and Facebook pages out there to help you find those activities. Um, strict budgets, uh, strict, sorry, strict shopping lists and meal planners. Like I said before, online shopping is a great way to make sure that you're saving money when you're on that single income. 
most of all, when you go through all of that hard, boring, mundane, everyday budget that you have in terms of groceries and utilities and rent or mortgages, it is really important that you continue to dream. And if that means you have a dream account, and I'm not talking savings, I'm talking dream here. If you have an account where you're putting money aside to work towards your dreams, that will only help you get there faster and keep you more motivated in the long run. I really hope that helps. And if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, for, for, for more free information and resources, don't forget to come on over to uh, ourchildren.com.au. I look forward to seeing you there. Bye.